welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is uh, my 18th impression <laughs> video of the Hitch Convertible Hanging Organizer. And I say that because I actually do own one of these. Um, I did buy it when it first came out on Lug Live during that week where they introduced all the home organizational stuff. Um, I was able to grab one uh, before it sold out, and uh, I'm using it. Now, I don't use it the... Uh, the way I think everyone else is using it. I'm not using it with the bins. I've just got stuff in it. I'm just testing it out. Uh, it's probably not even a permanent place that I'm going to be using it, but I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see if it was going to fit in my cupboard. I want to see, you know, like how durable it was and how much weight it took. So, um, but one of these days I will do a little bit more experimenting and then I will actually do a review video for you guys. Um, okay. So like I said, so I have this, so it's not really my first impression, but um, I just thought I'd look at it online anyways, because because um, we haven't really had a chance to see much about it other than what was available in the shows. And they go so fast in the shows and, you know, the video quality is never great. So you really don't see all the details the same way. So, okay. Anyways, let's look at the, at the price. $57 Canadian is, mm, it's a bit high. It's not bad. Um, it's, you know, I don't think it's outrageous, but it is not it's not to me I think it would be better if it was 50 I think I would I would if I saw that in a store I saw that for 50 I'd be like yeah okay 57 I think it's pushing it a little bit um, especially considering I've seen so many of these types of things that are like half the price now are they quite as elaborate in that you know obviously there's no quilting like there's no uh, you know they don't usually have prints on them um, the, the maybe the fabric is I'm not sure if it's better or worse, but it's different. So, you know, and like I said, I've seen these for like half the price. Uh, Ikea sells them regularly for like $24 and they, I still have like three of them in my cupboard. They have been there probably for 15 years and they still look brand new. Uh, and they've held up, I've opened and closed things, I've moved things around and they still are brand new. So spend $57 on something like this when you can easily spend half um, at, you know, and sometimes even less, uh, and have something that is, you know, just as useful. Eh. So you're really just paying for the lug and you're paying for the fact that it matches some of your other favorite prints and you're paying for the fact that it, um, yeah, it comes in prints because most of the ones that are out there are just solid colors. So, um, so if it means that much to you and you want to pay a little bit more for it, go for it. Now I say that and I bought one and obviously I wanted it one because I really wanted to try it. Um, two, because I really love the color and, um, yeah, I just, I just thought what the heck. And I do love these kinds of things. Like, cause I do have a bunch in my house already. Um, there's no, there's, there's no harm in having another one. I probably should have waited till they came down in price a lot more, but FOMO kind of got the best of me that day and I bought it and it was really expensive. I think it was 49 us or something. And I probably should have waited. I realized like the second that I, that I purchased it, I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. But um, anyway, it's in my cupboard. It's fine. I'm loving it. It's it's great. So let's look at the colors now. So this is the gardenia, the gardenia green. So there's the side. It's, I love these. I think they're really pretty. They're really, really quite cute. So it does collapse down. And there it is in the cupboard. Oh, so just looking at uh, the little bins there. I can't wait to see those. So this is the one that I have. This is the Blue Moon Ice Pop. I love it. Uh, the sad thing is once it's in your cupboard, you actually can't see it. So that's the one thing I have to say that like once it's in your cupboard, cause it's in your cupboard, uh, you don't see the sides cause there's stuff next to it. You don't see the top cause you're not a giant, at least I'm not. Uh, and then you don't see like the inside cause there's stuff in it. So, you know, you pay for the extra print, but you end up not really seeing it. So anyways, that's a little bit of a sad thing for me that I'm like, Oh, I really can't see it. So anyway, uh, okay. Camo Navy. So very, very camo navy. So it's for those of us who are really into camo. I'm glad that there's a choice. Hummingbird floral, which I love. I probably would have gotten this one as well if it didn't sell out. Um, but again, now I'm kind of glad I didn't because now I can just wait for a better sale. Um, but I totally, totally, I'm hardcore into this print. Um, so when the sale price comes down enough that I can afford to get one, uh, this is the next one I'm then getting that I'm gonna get. And it's gonna look so cute next to the blue moon ice pop. Um, Love stripe black. 
love this because uh, you can actually maybe organize your man. <laughs> uh, if you happen to have men in your life that you're like, your cupboard sucks. Well, now you can give them this like manly black thing with grays and go now organize your cupboard. So yeah, I kind of think that's kind of fun. Uh, and then magenta is just straight up magenta. <laughs> it is just what it is, just pink. Uh, and then the metallic champagne, which is so pretty. Love that. Love, love, love that. I always, whenever I see this particular color, I always think like bridal shower. I don't know why. I always think of this as being like, uh, if you've got, you know, like a bridal party and you're all getting ready at the hotel room, if all, like if, like if you gave one of these to your bridesmaids each, and this is how they organize their stuff in the hotel, it'd be like a really fun thing to give them so they could, you know, put their shoes and their wedding, uh, sorry, like, like their little purse and their hair stuff and all that in the hotel room that that's all their wedding stuff. I just think it'd be really cute. And then when they were done, they could take it home and use it. So anyways, I always think of these things, not like I'm getting married. I'm never going to get married. Um, but, uh, for some reason I'm just like, Oh, you know, if I had a wedding party, they, I would gift them these things. I don't know why I'm thinking that it's just so weird, but anyway, uh, okay. So Teresa, Tropical Birds is the brand new print. And I don't think I've seen this in anything else. I, I kind of thought I would have seen them by now in like whatever, in uh, in bags. I still haven't. Um, lots of fun little blues and some bright oranges. So very, very fun. And then the interior blue is really quite pretty. I quite like that blue on the inside. Um, okay, so just so you know, there's a different fabric on the inside. So the fabric that you see on the outside is the is the typical lug fabric. And then these little dividers, I guess they are, is I think also the lug fabric. But do you see that quilting in the back and along the sides? It's a different fabric. It's like a, it's like knitted, fibery, soft, almost fuzzy kind of fabric. And it's, I'm a, I'm a little bit worried that it's not gonna last the test of time. It reminds me of the kind of fabric that you see on those really cheap reusable bags that you used to get, like when they, when, when they first started making reusable bags, they were like really thin and knitted. Um, and they, they almost had a little bit of a texture to it. It, it looks like that. Uh, and those kinds of bags never lasted. They always ripped. Um, they always sort of got all weirdly sort of, you know, just deformed and stuff like that. So I'm really worried that this is the same fabric. Um, so we'll see. I'm not pulling things in and out of mine too much at the moment. So I haven't seen it like rip or, or pill, but that's because everything kind of stays in there. I haven't really been moving things in and out of it. So I'm just a little bit worried with the wear and tear. It'll eventually, you know, start to deteriorate. Um, okay. So, uh, do we look at all the pictures? I don't think we have. Let's look at the pictures. Um, okay. So that's this little family there. I really wish they had come up with more colors. Like I know that they were just testing this out. Um, but I kind of was hoping that there'd be some more colors to offer up. Okay. So there's, okay. I don't know if you can see this. Um, I don't think I can make it. Let me see. Can I make this smaller so that you can actually get the whole, mm, Hmm. Can you see that better? Maybe you can't. I don't know. It's, I don't know why for some reason they make these so big. Okay, so hopefully you can see that a little bit. Now at least you can maybe see the entire picture there. Okay, um, okay, so that's the before and after, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, oh, I love it. <laughs> like, look at look at the stack of of hats. Uh, what are they called? Oh my God, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called right now. I have one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but I do, I do love that this is clearly the cupboard of a lug nut. <laughs> Um, so, um, but here's the, I mean, I love that you can see everything, but no one has, no one has this kind of a wardrobe. Like no one has like this few stuff. Um, everyone's cupboards are significantly more cluttered than that. Um, but for some reason this person is obsessed with hats, which I can't remember the name of at the moment. Um, okay. Now I was told by some people that some of the, like the hooks don't fit some people's cupboards. Um, I imagine if they don't have a standard like 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 rod it's not gonna fit mine luckily did um both i have i have two cupboards i tried them in and it fit for both so for me it worked fine but i have heard that those hooks don't actually fit every single cupboard so if you know that you've got a slightly thicker cupboard dowel yeah you may want to 
just hold off on it uh, and make sure that it actually fits um, or just be ready for it not to fit. So just brace yourself and don't expect that, uh, just expect that you may have to return it. Um, anyways, just, just, to, just to a little, little heads up there. Um, now I do have to say one thing. Do you see how like wrinkly they are? Do you see how it's like not really a smooth line? That is kind of annoying. It's because they come folded uh, and there's like a crease on the inside of each compartment. Uh, so it does not really, it's, it doesn't really smooth out. So if that bothers you at all, like if you're looking for something really beautiful and streamlined, you're not going to get it here. I've had mine hanging for a while. It still has bumps in it. Um, and it's had some pretty heavy things in it that I thought would sort of hang, uh, that sort of, would, would sort of straighten it out after time because it does hang pretty heavy. Um, and it really hasn't. So if that bothers you at all, just putting that out there. Uh, it bothered me a little bit in the beginning and now I've sort of phased it out. But it, it, it did look a little wonky. It didn't look as beautiful as I was hoping it would just because it was all sort of, yeah, a little, you know, cattywampus on the one side and you know kind of lop, like sort of lopsided on the other so anyway so there we go that's the set and there it is okay so let's read what it says actually I'm gonna open this window back up again so that we can look at the pictures a little bit bigger um, <laughs> okay so all right uh, so turn a cluttered mess into a well-organized closet with our hitch convertible shelf hanging organizer, uh, featuring four lightweight yet sturdy shelves that will hang from your closet rod, uh, and quickly store sweaters, shoes, bags, and more. Did we mention two of our four shelves are adjustable and lift up or down to accommodate multiple storage system uh, items? Okay. That was a long sentence. Yep. Let's get organized together. I don't know who's writing these. Um, okay, so what they mean by that, if you're not, is there a video? Mm, why is there no video? There needs to be a video for this because otherwise you're not gonna understand how this works. Okay, so you've got four little shelves here. Two of them, the top one and the bottom, hang on. Yeah, the top one, the bottom one. Wait, hang on, how does this work? For sure, this one here, uh, if you pull it down, it acts as a little divider here so it's in four sections you can actually push that up against the top so that this is now sitting up here and the two sides are here and then it becomes like a two so you can have like one big open section or you can have uh like two big open sections or you can have one like with two and then one with one so if you were to lift that up you can have one big one here and then two small ones down here so however you want to organize it it actually works really really well um for some reason it I don't know why, but I thought one of them came down, but I think one goes up this way. I think they both go up. So this one goes up against the top, and then this one goes up against the second, like the, 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 the whatever, the second shelf. So you can have two open ones, and then you can throw, so let's look back at this photo here. Where is it? This one. So do you see how they've divided that? So these two are the normal ones, and then they've closed this little area off, so you can put that big box in there. And it's, I forget what it's called now, cargo? Is it the cargo? Uh, the cargo bin that slides in there. It's supposed to fit there perfectly. So, um, or you can have two cargo bins or you can have two, uh, you know, other of those, these other little section, these little dividers here and put them up here and then put one big guy there. So you can organize however you want. And they really actually are quite sturdy. So um, I'm using two no am i using no i'm using all of them and they really do quite they, they they do hold a fair bit of weight so they actually do they are quite sturdy um okay measurements so 14.5 inches wide 14.5 inches deep uh so it's just a little bit bigger than the cargo bin and then it's 32 and a half inches high um yeah so I mean it's, it's it is what it is uh, features it says two adjustable shelves lift up or down to accommodate multiple size storage items can be used alone or with matching storage cubes uh, they probably actually probably should put a link and call it what it is and say it could be used with our cargo cubes and then put the link there so that you can actually go directly to it uh, for people who don't know that that can be done uh, corrugated plastic shelves for durability um, heavy duty hooks they are gunmetal, by the way. Um, holds up to 60 pounds. That's important to know. I don't think I knew that before. Um, I should probably measure. I should probably weigh my thing and see how much it's actually holding. Folds flat when not in use. 
I appreciate that, but I don't know. When are you not going to use that? Like, when are you really going to have that folded flat? I guess if you're like traveling, uh, perfect for homes, dorms, apartments, RVs, and nurseries. Again, that's not a feature. That is just an idea. Oh, sorry. You're not seeing this, are you? There we go. Uh, gunmetal hardware, 100% quilted polyester, and then care, I think it's just wipeable. Yeah, same thing. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. I just don't know when you would collapse. <coughs> Pardon me. Collapses down. Um, it does hit me. And I think it did hit me when I was watching the shows as well. I just forgot about it. Um, you know how when you go into hotel rooms, they always have like drawers and then there's the closet and the closet only has like, I don't know, like six hangers in it or something like that. Um, it, it's rare that I go into a, like a, a hotel room and there's more than like 10 hangers. So if you're there for a prolonged period of time, or you're the kind of person who likes to hang everything, um, there's never enough hangers. So I used to like to hang all my stuff because I didn't want to put them in the drawers because I don't, I don't think they clean the drawers very often, if at all. Um, and I never know like what's in the drawers and, you know, sometimes you just want to hang everything because you're just not going to be able to iron because you just don't feel like it. Um, even if some of the rooms do have irons, sometimes you just, like after being crushed in a bag, you just want to have everything hang and breathe. Um, and I just never have enough hangers, but I also sometimes don't want to like, you know, like put them on the bed or put them anywhere. So having to travel with your own like organizational bins is actually kind of hilarious um I don't like it's, it's a lot of weight to carry around it's, a lot, it's an, an, an extra thing you gotta carry but if you are a bit of a germaphobe or if you are really hyper aware of how dirty things are in hotel rooms um and you just like to put your stuff in your own stuff this might be a really good way to uh travel so like I said if you're going from hotel room to hotel room uh if you carry this I think that would be the only time I would cons I, I could see myself collapsing this down um because it, once it's in your cupboard it's in your cupboard you're not you know, you're not moving it around. You're not taking it down, you know, moving it somewhere else. But like I said, if you're traveling, this is probably a cool thing. Um, and I guess if, yeah, if you're living in a dorm and you're, you know, you're going home for the holidays or not going for the, like, like for summer and then you come back again or you're moving rooms, you want to collapse that down. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, like for the rest of us who aren't in dorms, um, yeah, this could be a fun way to actually, you know, travel and have organization everywhere you go, no matter what hotel room you're in. So anyway, just a thought. I don't think I will necessarily do that. But maybe if I was car traveling and I was going to a hotel and I was going to be there for a while, uh, I might do it. But anyway, um, you know, I, I now just carry, you know, like wipes and just wipe down the drawer if I'm, you know, if I'm feeling like I'm not too lazy when I get to hotels now. Um, anyway, so there we go. So that is the video. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, did you guys order one of these? If so, how do you like it? How have you been using it? Um, does it work for you? Have you done, have you noticed that any, uh, you know, balling or, or fraying or anything of that fabric on the inside? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, and tell me what colors you got. I really want to know. So that's it. That's my first impression video of the Hitch Convertible Hanging Organizer. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a great deal to me as it really helps with the algorithm in getting this video and channel seen. It also helps if you subscribe to the channel or buy me a coffee. You can find out more about that in the description below. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.